these Democrats are ruining our country. They're just gonna, they're just hell bent on turning this country into a, you know, a communist country. And that's, I mean, they're gonna try socialism first, then it'll go to communism, and we we can't have that. Where and where do you see that that you're talking about evidenced in the last few years? Uh, trying to go to socialism. Um, well, let me think about that because there's, well, there's lots of things, but. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and TYT's Mike Osher has interviewed some of the dumbest people at Trump rallies. Donald Trump loves the undereducated, and the reason is obvious. These people are committed to his delusion. Who in their right mind goes out in public dressed like a billboard for hypocrisy? But, but, you know, our joblessness numbers now are quite low in this country. Are you sure about that? Well, I, I'm going off the metrics that we use for every president and every administration. The Department of Labor statistics say that we have very low unemployment now. How for, can that you know, be? How can that be when we have... I'm not a labor expert, but I'm going have, off the numbers that we credit Trump and Clinton illegal, and... Illegal aliens in our country uh, that are unaccounted for. And just because there's jobs out there... Um, uh, that's not Biden's doing. It's the same people who claim to be patriotic but dish out hundreds of dollars on Trump apparel that's made in China. These are the Trump faithful, the folks who connect with Donnie Boy on a third grade level, and it shows. Shore spoke to one bottle blonde that must have flunked civics. She couldn't seem to accept the fact that jobless numbers are down and the economy is in a good spot. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking about the current state of affairs right now. Like, whatever presidency, whether it's, like I said, Clinton or Reagan or Trump or Biden, we go off of Department of Labor statistics to say where the joblessness rate is, the unemployment rate, inflation, all of that. So right now we are in a good spot historically going by that metric. The one that we credited Donald Trump with is the one we now credit Joe Biden with. So I'm asking, what is it about this time that makes that different for you? What has he done to improve our country? What has Joe Biden done to improve our country? I'm, He's I'm not. He's destroying our country. He's destroying our economy. You, you can bring up the jobless thing, but our country is being destroyed. Can you get From more within. specific? So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking because I'm not I have no horse in the race. I'm just asking what, what, what it is specifically. I don't know. I'm not well-spoken enough to tell you that. Denial and projection of displaced anger are common traits in the Trump faithful. They love Trump because he gives them the permission to be who they really are without guilt. Judging by the looks of the other cult members that were gathering around the watch, there weren't any critical thinkers in attendance. The jackaloons that were standing around looked like they had just crawled off of the set of Deliverance. What a group of Stone Age idiots. President Biden were to come up to you now and say hi and introduce himself, what would you tell the president? <laughs> you probably don't want to know. No, but I, I wouldn't have to go. Joe's got to go. He's so demented, he doesn't even know where he's at. He's not running the country. Who's running the country then? Uh, Barack Obama. He's running the country? Yeah, from behind, behind the scenes, yep. Oh. Joe, uh, Joe Biden's not capable of doing anything. He can't even figure out how to get off of a stage. If uh, President Trump were to come up and you could have a heart-to-heart -heart with President Trump, what would you say to him? I would say, God bless you, sir, and we need you. The woman has a preconceived notion of reality that's not flexible. Instead of looking at all the evidence, she cherry-picks and uses half-baked points out of context. This bias disqualifies any credibility that she's aiming for. For example, a scientific experiment requires objectivity and the ability to question whether the hypothesis can be supported or not. Research that's based on opinions will come out skewed and inaccurate. It's the same thing with basic logic. No one particularly likes having their pride hurt, but there are valuable lessons that can be learned from mistakes. If a person is honest with themselves and with others, they are typically better adjusted to life. This is not a foreign concept. A well-adjusted person can ask themselves the question, could I possibly be wrong and not have a meltdown? Folks who have a hard time with personal accountability will struggle with this. The Trump faithful usually try to avoid accepting responsibility for their actions and try to project their uncomfortable feelings onto others because of their dysfunctional belief systems. Their target is usually an authority figure, in this case President Biden and his family. This is the same type of oppositional defiance that Donald Trump displays. He is a bully and his followers love him for it. Trump has these clowns thinking that he cares about them and is fighting for them somehow. 
That couldn't be further from the truth. Donald Trump couldn't care less about these morons, but they are so committed to their own selfish desires that they can't see the forest through the trees. Every time that Michael Schur tried to get the BS Barbie to elaborate on a point, she changed the subject or asked a different question. Cognitive dissonance occurs when someone's deeply held convictions are challenged with opposing information, causing discomfort. No one likes feeling the feeling of being wrong. This is where people decide whether they will review the new information or dismiss it based on how it makes them feel. Trump loons are not critical thinkers, and this particular Trump disciple proves it. What a loser. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.